so basically you need to know this that this video is definitely for you so if you like my video do share it with your friends okay so this is done obtain the operating voltage of the GM counters you will set your uh, counter at that particular voltage thereafter we will be demonstrating you an application of a GM counter wherein you can find the absorption coefficient uh, using GM counters how you can find the absorption coefficient this will be discussed in this experiment so what is absorption coefficient if the intensity I of a gamma ray beam on passing through a thickness dx of an absorbing material is reduced by an amount di aluminum absorber here copper absorber or either a lead absorber as you can see they are placed over here then the fractional loss of energy that is minus di by i is directly proportional to this thickness dx of the absorbing material can be written as some constant multiplied by dx now this constant is nothing but mu which is the linear attenuation coefficient or the absorption coefficient for the material or the absorber so on integrating we get here i naught is the intensity at x is equal to 0 and i is the intensity of the beam at the thickness equal to x as you can see here from the disk set it is written properly for the serial number 1 we are having the thickness of 0 0.00 14 1 and it is having the thickness that is 0 0.05 mm -hmm. similarly we are having this third one and it is having the thickness of 0 0.10 it keeps on continuing as you can see thickness keeps on varying similarly we can uh, check the thickness from this table of different absorbers here the marker is uh, written second third fourth and fifth to check the thickness it is written over here similarly for the lead absorber thus upon integration we reach this result Thus, the intensity of the beam decreases exponentially with the thickness of the absorbing material. Now, what has GM counter to do with this relation? This is, a, uh, this is a third and for the third one we are having the thickness of 0 0.60. Mm -hmm. The absorber has to be placed in between the radioactive source and the GM tube or the detector. This intensity of gamma ray photons is proportional to the number of counts per second that is count rate and it is this count rate which is measured by the GM counter. Now start here. This is showing the number of counts with the thickness of 0 0.60 light absorb. Serial number one, third is having the thickness of 0 0.60. Number of counts are found to be 85. So the absorbing material that is used here, it has a thickness that is specified. So the absorbers that we showed you were made up of aluminium, lead and copper, I think. And they had 
the readings for the thickness mentioned in mm so in case the thickness is mentioned in the units of length so the units for the absorption coefficient of the material will be in the units of length inverse but in case the uh, thickness is given in mg per centimeter square for example in the units of mass per unit area so in that case the units for the absorption coefficient will be given in area divided by mass and the fourth wala aur iske corresponding jo thickness hai lead ki it is 0.90 mm -hmm. so we are gonna take this out and again start button the, after 30 seconds it is stop automatically and the reading is found to be 85 number of pound okay mm -hmm. in princess thickness that is we are going to use the fifth one which is having the thickness of 1.20 mm -hmm. again start this button and the number of counts mm -hmm. will found to be 92 So after setting the GM counter at its operating voltage you have to make this kind of observation table for example if the thickness is measured in grams per centimeter square you can take three set of readings for the counts in the presence of source for that particular thickness and thereafter you can take the mean also calculate the background reading the background readings will be the counts in the absence of source then you can calculate the actual counts which is calculated by mean minus the background reading and finally for the last column you can calculate the log for the actual counts so likewise the thickness of the absorber can be increased and follow the same procedure to finally calculate the natural log n of the actual counts and in case you have doubts regarding the working of the gm counters and how to take the readings You can go back and check this video on the GM counters. So, if n not and n are the number of counts corresponding to i not and i, we have, or which can also be written like. So, this resembles the equation of a straight line, where m is the slope and c is the y-intercept. Therefore, if a graph is plotted between log n and the thickness x, it will be a straight line. and the slope of the line gives the value of mu which is the absorption coefficient of the material with a negative sign so we have demonstrated you how to take the readings so after taking the complete set of readings how the graph will actually look like is as shown here so for the determination of the absorption coefficient the graph that you need to plot is as shown here what to take on the x axis and what to take on the y axis so basically you have to keep this in mind the absorption coefficient will have units inverse of the unit for the thickness of the material that you are using that was all about the video with this i would like to thank swati she assisted me in every possible way and i could record the experiment nicely just because of her and if you want to know the general properties of radiation detectors we have videos made for them and i'll put the links in the description box below do check them out and do let me know how you find them be really careful while performing the experiments and stay safe put on your masks and wish you all good health happiness and prosperity